Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to customize your preview tab right here. So the preview tab is sort of like the backbone of Premiere. It allows you to see what you're doing. However, this tab isn't just locked to this. You can do a lot of different things with this to customize it in a way that works with you and to create a workspace or workflow that works for you as well. So let's just get started on all this. We have a couple of different buttons and features here. The top left one right here is just gonna be your zoom. Um, so you can just click this to be able to zoom out if there's like effects on the edges and you can kind of just, you know, move that around. You can also zoom it really far in if you want to see some different areas, you know, zoom it in and find minute details. This will look a lot better when you have like really high quality footage like 10K, but I usually just keep it on fit because it'll keep it right in the window. Over here you have the playback resolution. So if we go to one fourth, it's going to play back this footage at only one fourth of its... Uh, processing power so it just takes the quality it drops it by one fourth the reason you do this is if your computer is slow sometimes you cannot render at full speed uh, and play it back at that exact speed so if I did full on like a really slow laptop maybe then the playback time would be really slow and it would look like it was running at half speed or something like that or it would just glitch and sort of jump but sometimes we don't want that so you can drop that down and then over here we have a bunch of different settings and a lot of these can have a tutorial in themselves so if you just want to kind of go through here and click on some things there's some really neat sort of just different ways that you can do stuff like if I go into overlays here it'll put an overlay every time I stop to show you what point in the video and the audio track we're at which is kind of really you know useful if you're editing something and you're like oh wait there's something wrong here you can stop it write down the time and then just keep playing it and you don't have to go down here and search for it and yeah I don't know just pretty neat like I said there's a lot of those in here and I'll make some future tutorials on some of the stuff in here now down here is a really neat tab so there's the basic buttons but you can add a lot of different customization to it. If you go over here to this plus button, the button editor, you'll see that there are a ton of buttons that aren't represented on the default view. And so what you can do up here is you can just take any of these and just drag them in and you can use them basically forever after that. Uh, it's saved at, into the workspace once you do this. So like, let's say if I go to, I grab the safe margins one in here. And if I was working on TV, this would be important. So now if I'm sort of creating graphics or anything like that, I can click this button and I can understand that I need to keep the graphics inside of this box. And then, you know, so I can just keep quick referencing this back and forth. Maybe that's important to me. Then we have some other cool things like uh, this one's really neat, the global FX mute. So what this does is if I click this button, it turns off all effects in the entire basically production and that's really neat to just see the raw footage and I added some color correction to this so when I click it it turns off the color correction and then now if I re-add it it re-adds the color correction so it's a quick way to be able to you know jump it off see what you started with and then just turn it back on and you know there's a ton of different buttons like this throughout here that you can kind of just play around with and really just make this your own and then if you don't like to use certain buttons for example if lift and extract aren't buttons you like to use just drag them up here and clean it up so that it is working best for you and only the buttons that you want to use are down here so that you can use them whenever you need to. That is basically it on this. Uh, like I said, there's isn't you know a ton of customization, but there is some really neat effects, especially this button editor. Make sure you understand what's in here so that you can put the best buttons down here to work with and you can speed up your workflow to fit a lot of these different sort of scenarios. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and those in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related content, sort of focusing on Premiere Pro. So yeah, until next time guys, see ya.